Hello and welcome to Python Fundamentals. In this course, we learn the underpinning Python programming skills, preparing for our journey towards mastering the Django framework and the Python programming language. This tutorial is part of a series of tutorials. You can find the link to the whole playlist in the video description. This tutorial is from our Python Programming Fundamentals for Django Developers course, which you can find and purchase on Udemy. You will find all the latest and updated tutorials, as well as resources and assessments to help accelerate your learning of the subject. The link to the course, which will always provide the best price, can be found in the video description. In the previous tutorial, we introduced ourselves to the if conditional statement. Just as a quick recap, here we have a simple if statement. Should the expression here in the if statement return or be evaluated to true, then we run the block, the true block here that's indented inside of the if statement. What we learned in the previous tutorial is that if this condition expression, sorry, were to return false, then we just carry on or the Python interpreter will carry on reading the code below that hasn't been or where the indentation stops. There may be an occasion or a necessity for you to run specific code based upon whether the expression here returns true or false. Along with the if statement, the else condition can be used. This is an optional alternative block of statements we can utilize, which will be executed if the Boolean expression in the if condition is evaluated to false. Let's extend our example here. So we have a, an expression here, 10 is less than zero. So at the moment, that will be returning, will be evaluated to false. So here we should be printing out absolutely nothing at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and capture that false. So if this expression here does return false, we can go ahead and use the else keyword here with the colon, and then we need to indent and create a new statement. So let's go ahead and print out false. So let's give this a go now. And you can now see that we're capturing the fact that this expression is returning a Boolean false. And therefore Python will now run the else condition here or the else block here. So this is an additional component we can utilize with our if conditions. Of course, Python will then continue to execute the rest of the code that's in this file here, uh, as long as it's not indented. So this would be considered part of the else condition, would be a, a statement inside the else component there. So we need to make sure that we uh, remove the indentation on any lines below that we want to execute after the if statement. So let's give this a go. So you can see here that the continue is actually then printed. 